a little update video on progress with the car. Since the last video, after the startup, I've gotten my tune from Brian at Fab 9. Haven't been able to obviously drive the car yet. I'm sure the tune will be perfect. Been having some trouble getting the axles out so I can um, place the differential. Since this car was a five speed, it came with an open diff. I now have a, an LSD from a, a six speed car that I can put in to replace that open diff. Um, so I've been having some trouble getting those uh, axles out, but I used this tool that I borrowed from AutoZone and I got the axles out or one axle at least, but you have to essentially take off the whole hub to get it out. So, and obviously unhook all the uh, toe arms, the control arm and stuff, but I just got to do the other side and I can drop that differential and then uh, put in my low mile LSD in there. The front cover off to show you what to look for, for you to know that you do have a, a true LSD um, I've got burned one time off of eBay. The seller said it was an LSD, but it happened to be uh, another open differential. So but yeah, this one's a true LSD. I already opened it up. My buddy Jason hooked me up and did my headlights. I'll put a photo in to show you what they look like before, but they are absolutely hideous. Now they're pretty clear. But yeah, I'm gonna work on getting this other axle out. To remove the axle, you essentially need to take the hub out to press the axle in, um, everything is still connected. So your first step would be remove the caliper and the rotor off. Oh. It's loose. Get one on the top as well. So now with the caliper and the rotor off, I just have it hanging so it's not putting a lot of strain on the uh, cable. Um, you're gonna wanna have your arms basically loose. So I have this bolt off or the nut and then this one nut so I can just break them off and then I do need to get the toe one off right now. All right, so the toe arm is loose inside the knuckle. Now I can put on my um, hub puller and then hopefully I can start to push this thing out. Get these on fairly, fairly tight. Stand tight. Start to thread this in, get it ready. Apologize early for the noise. Okay, so I gave it a couple more tries and it was, it's, it's pushing it through. So now the only thing that's keeping it from coming out is the uh, the arms. So I need to take those off right now. Enough to where the axle is obviously free now. So I'll just pop it out of the diff and then all both axles will be out. So I'm just taking a big pry bar and Gonna be popping out the axle. They have a retaining clip, so you have to give it some pressure. There so now both axles are out. I put the power plant frame on um, just to hold up the the diff up. Um, I can remove the power plant frame now and then this uh, diff will be taken out. I've already loosened up those upper bolts and this whole thing should just drop out. So right now I have both bolts taken out. I have a uh, jack holding it up, the differential. So the power plant frame was never in or fully tightened. So I'll just remove whatever is holding it on. And then I should be able to remove it and then take the differential out. I have the power plant frame disconnected from the trans and the diff. Both of the upper bolts are removed, so I'm just gonna come down slow with the diff. Okay, let's see what happens. 
probably gonna end up just falling, so I'll just get prepared for it. Yeah, it's coming down. I'm gonna get caught up here in just a second. Um, oh, <laughs> and it didn't crush my hands or fall on the floor. So, all right, I'll take it out from under the car now. diff in that one is uh started that bolt up there this one i'm about to start i did this by myself <laughs> it was a little difficult um trying to put it on the jack and go up it just kept falling off each time so what i did was i got under it and let it hang on uh, these uh, supports right here just for a second until i can get the jack under and i put it right under the stud and just went very slowly going up until I got it um, going into the clevis up top. And now they're both in. So I'm obviously still have um, pressure from the jack because I don't want it to drop. I'll tighten those um, bolts up and I'll probably lower the jack and then just put it back here so I can get the power plant frame on and then tighten everything up. So we got the power plant frame all connected, did the drive shaft exhaust is kind of routed correctly i gotta finish putting the exhaust back on and then um back over here all of these arms are basically trash from the bushings and stuff so i want to buy replacement ones um that have fresh ball joints and then i'll put um polyurethane bushings for the arms um i'm probably gonna do the rx8 hub upgrades as well maybe do some arp studs so i still got a little bit of ways to go but Doing this LSD was really taking a toll on me because it was just really difficult. So, but I'm glad I finished it. I gotta put some uh, some fluid in there. But yeah, everything's uh, going as planned. So, so that's gonna do it for this video. Next video, hopefully, I will have it on the ground, and then I can show you guys my new wheel and tire setup. Um, I did a sneak peek on my Instagram if you guys want to follow me, and I want to end the. The video with a, a new logo that my my good buddy Sergio made me. It's really cool. I'm really digging it. So uh, let me know if you guys like the logo. All right, thanks for watching.